Hello, this is the introduction to the sign rule which we use in trigonometry if, importantly, the side or an angle of a triangle is asked. We are still working with the non 90 degree um, triangles. Okay, if we look at where the sign rule comes from and what the sign rule is, then we're starting with the area of a non 90 degree triangle. And remember, um, this is what we've done previously. If you don't remember, please go back to those. Um, videos and watch them. But what we do is we take all of these formulas and we divide them by half ABC. And what is then, um, what we then get is this. And this is the sign rule. Sin A divided by A is equal to sin B divided by B and that is equal to sin C divided by C. So that is the sign rule. Or, obviously, people, we can just turn this around. A divided by sin A equals B divided by sin B equals C divided by sin C. So this is the sign rule and it originates from the area formula, which you don't really need to know. Okay, now importantly, I want to immediately teach you people which one are you going to choose. It depends on what is being asked. If an angle is asked, then you put your angle at the top in the numerator. If a side is asked, then you put your side at the top. It just simply makes our goros or the moving of the different values to actually calculate the unknown easier. All right, so along with the sin rule, sign rule, I want you to remember the following. You have the information of one full pair and half a pair, okay? Remember that you have the information of one full pair and half a pair. So what do I mean by that? A full pair is, for instance, angle C as well as side C, and angle A makes up half a pair, right? But now, very, very important, side A is being asked, okay? Side A is being asked. Or we can have it differently. We have a full pair, like in this case, angle A as well as side A, oh sorry, angle B as well as side B. That gives me the full pair, right, as well as A, the side, but A, the angle is being asked. A, the angle is being asked. Okay, I repeat, for the sign rule, you must have a full pair and half a pair. So in this case, you have, for instance, angle C and side C. So this is the full pair, All right? And you are given angle A, but you are asked side A. So with your question mark, you always have two pairs, right? What is the given information is one full pair and a half pair. So in this case, we've got angle B and side B as well as side A. So we've got a full pair and half a pair and the angle A in this case is asked, right? So we must always, of your formula, you choose one of this. You must have three known and one unknown, okay? Or you can, for instance, choose this one if the side is asked. One side is no, not known, it is asked. The other side is known and the two angles are known. So this is the full pair and half a pair. Or this can be the full pair and half a pair, okay? And remember, you always put the side or the angle that you must calculate at the top. So the, calc the question mark, the X, the unknown, is always at the top. 
All right, let's look at an example. In this triangle ABC, we've got angle B, which is 50.1 degrees. We also got angle A, which is 73.2 degrees. And we've got line AC being 5.2 centimeters. So in the beginning, I want you to make a quick drawing, okay? And label your side as B because this is opposite vertex B. Then find line BC. This one is being asked. So again, label that A, okay, with a question mark, right? So if we look at this, we've got a full pair. We've got vertex B and line B, right? And we've got angle A and asked is line A. So when we have our formula, we put our question mark at the top, which is A. So A divided by sin A, okay? And then B, that equals B divided by sin B. Put your question mark at the top. It makes it just simply easier. So now this is the step where you have chosen your formula correctly. Step two, you're going to substitute values, okay? So sin A is 73.2, then the length of B is 5.2, sin B is sin of 50.1. Okay, and we're just simply going to do Goro's OO, and then if you calculate the length of A, it is 6.4889. So remember to round that to three significant figures, which gives you an answer of 6.4. Nine. So I want to repeat the sine rule we use if we want to calculate a side length or if we want to calculate an angle. The sine rule is simply sin A over A equals sin B over B equals sin C over C and we choose two of these to make up our formula or it can be simply turned around which is A over sin A equals B over sin B equals C over sin C. Okay, when we then look at when are we going to choose to use this is if we are given a full pair and half a pair. A full pair means an angle and a side and half a pair is either an angle or it is a side, okay? And the other one, the opposite one, is being asked. That is when we're going to use the sin rule. So when you go and you look at your example, label your sides correctly, choose the formula, okay? Remember that your question mark always goes at the top. The, question, the value that needs to be calculated needs to go at the top. And then once you have written your correct formula, substitute values, Goro is OO and calculate and get your answer.